Okay, Kunal, let's proceed ahead with your uh, mock uh, SNAP for uh, BARC, that is for fluid mechanics, and you're a chemical engineer, right? Okay. Yes, sir. So, uh, Kunal, uh, let me ask you first uh, about some properties of the fluid. Uh, can you name some very important properties of the fluid? Very important properties of the fluid. Uh, so, when we say about fluid, it comes to um, like it comes to the density uh, for gases, the temperature, the pressure, and uh, um, the volume. When we talk about the Okay, when we talk about properties also, we come uh, across the, uh, the viscosity, the surface tension, uh, and uh, these are, I think, these are many, sir. Okay, so uh, tell me, Kunal, as uh, you have you heard about the hydrostatic law? Hydrostatic law, yes, sir. What is that? Uh, sir, it tells about uh, uh, the pressure the delta p that is uh, across that is that is varying across the height so that's the hydrostatic law along the height when when we move then what what is the pressure uh, what is the delta p across uh, across the heat uh, across the each delta height so that is mainly applicable for the static fluids static mm -hmm. fluids, yeah so as we keep on going down yeah uh, the pressure keeps on increasing right uh, for liquids how do you define the bulk modulus? We define the bulk modulus. Sir, the bulk modulus is uh, 1 upon compressibility. And the compressibility, uh, I know it is defined as minus 1 upon V del V by del P at a constant temperature. OK. Yeah. So can you write the uh, bulk modulus formula in terms of uh, uh, density change? Bulk modulus formula in terms of density change, yes, sir. Uh, so minus uh, actually bulk modulus formula in terms of density change bulk modulus is one by k i will write compressibility sir and thereby we can write the bulk modulus so it's uh, it's like one by density uh, del rho upon del p times t one by density i got it no it's like rho del rho just a second sir one by rho one by rho del rho by del p at a constant temperature. So the inverse of this will be the bulk modulus. I'm uh, I'm working with compressibility, sir. No, no. You simply write the bulk modulus k is equal to what? Is a ratio of two things, right? Yeah. Bulk modulus. Okay, Kunal, do you know as we keep on going in depth? Yeah. The pressure keeps on increasing. Yes, sir. And if I go one kilometer in depth of water, yeah, pressure will be tremendously high. Yes. Because uh, there are some places in ocean where uh, depth is even more than five kilometers. Yes, sir. Yes. Right. So, yes, can you tell me how the uh, density changes with the depth? Changes with the depth. Sir, uh, how do the density changes with the depth? So, 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 the density uh, of the water should be constant, actually. Why? Because the water. Because the water is in because the water is incompressible fluid, sir. There's uh, no incompress incompressible fluid means density change is difficult. Does not mean it is uh, zero. Okay. Bulk modulus, you know. There's a reason I'm asking you to write bulk modulus in terms of density change. Yeah. Bulk modulus is uh, excessive pressure delta p okay. over change in density per unit original density. Per unit original density. Yes, sir. Now, 
change in density per unit original density is density strain that yeah. is delta p over k yes 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 so change in density over density for water can be written as excess pressure over k can be written as excess pressure over k yes sir now no doubt k is very large for water yes sir but delta p can also be very large you see this formula now this formula yes sir yes yes as the z increases 1 km yes delta p is also very large yes the question is what will be the density change with the depth can you calculate that with depth yes sir so uh, then delta p will take the value of uh, rho g h oh and the surface there will be one pressure and at the round okay as i like that surface pe there is rho 1 and dq by rho is dp so your dp is h rho g so d rho upon rho is equal to h rho g by k then we need to integrate it so d rho by rho square is equals to h g by k of okay d rho 1 by rho minus 1 upon rho 1 is equals to h g by k uh, so it comes like some sort of this yeah uh, 1 by rho minus 1 upon uh, rho 1 is equals to h g by k. Show me. Is it visible, sir? D rho by you done rho square. Uh, yes, sir. Because uh, I have taken the differential form of it. Bring it close. Bring it close. D rho by rho square is g. Z by K yes. So how did you integrate after that? One by rho square. How did you integrate? Sir, one by rho square. Uh, rho power rho power minus two. So rho power minus two plus one upon minus two plus one. So it will go minus one upon rho and and putting the limits. So it will go like one by rho minus one upon rho one is equal to H G by K and the larger will be the rho one. So that means with Z rho is decreasing or increasing? Increasing with the depth. So depth is increasing, right? Uh, yes, can you draw plot between z and rho? Can we draw the plot between z and rho? Now take uh, depth on horizontal axis. Okay. And rho on here. Yes, sir. One by rho is linear. So one by rho when it goes linear, so h and rho should go like hyperbolic or something. Sir, uh, here the h h versus one by rho is the linear curve, so uh, h and rho should go like rectangular hyperbola sort of thing. Yeah. Make the diagram. Mm, yes, sir. Just a second. Mm, with head, the density should increase. Okay. Tell me the water density at depth of one kilometer. Water density at the at the depth of one kilometer. Okay, sir. कुछ है सर दिस इज द कर फॉर दी डेंसिटी एंड हाइट डेंसिटी एंड डेप्थ मीन्स So why you said this graph will only be made, uh, sir? Because they are inversely uh, proportional. Oh, just a second. Just a second. H and one by two are linear. H and one by two are linear. Mm. H and one by one linear. So one by one linear. So the density is growing. So oh ho. Oh. 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 Density. Oh. 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 Oh.
You know what is the slope of uh, density depth diagram, right? D rho by dz. D rho by dz. Yes. Try to find out the slope and tell me how it is increasing or decreasing with z. From this expression, try to find out d rho by dz. Okay, sir. And tell me how that is changing with z. <laughs> D rho by dz are you not getting as g over k into rho square g over k into rho square yes sir that means as you are increasing rho what is happening to the slope dh is equal to h into rho square g sir the Uh, sir, it is quadratic. Uh, it is coming to be quadratic. Power two. Parabolic type. Yes. It is coming parabolic type, sir. Slope. It will increase. Uh, it it will increase to the square of the density at that point. Okay. So as you keep on increasing, then it is going on, right? Yeah. Sir, uh, can we have the uh, value for bulk modulus of water? Tell me again. Uh, bulk modulus of water, sir. Bulk the modulus value. that is not required to draw a graph. Is that required? No, no, sir. Uh, for the calculation. No, bulk modulus of uh, water uh, value you may not be provided. Just okay. for uh, analysis, you tell me how this thing is coming. Graph is coming. The graph okay. which you have plotted can be plotted only by seeing the slope. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sir, the graph will remain this only, no? The upper part. Because yeah, it will take the same form. Yeah, because you know this uh, z, the slope is increasing. Square of uh, y. Yeah, as a function of rho square. Yeah. Fine. Yes, sir. Okay, Kunal. I think uh, let me give you the feedback now of this part. So, Kunal, this is a typical VRC related questions. They will ask you to think. They will ask you to visualize, and wow. something which is thought provoking actually. Where you are forced to think a lot. That is a yeah. kind of question they will give you, and you have to use your brain. And they will ask you to calculate slope, mathematics, calculation, differentiation. So scientific things can be used. Don't say I don't know it. Just keep on trying. Keep on trying. Keep on pushing. Keep on finding. Just say you have last time told me I don't know. Slope, get out. Know, you will know. Get out. Know, Some you know, idea will be conceived. Will be that sir, like this slope will be. That is it. And there is no such thing that I don't know. तुम्हें चीजें आती हैं तुम्हें बस उसको फाइंड आउट करना होता है किस तरीके से हमें उसको प्रोसीड करें राइट यस सर बहुत इसको बिठाना फाइन को ना ओके